Good afternoon and welcome to a very, very chilly uh, Atmo show. It's a Friday afternoon and uh, we've got the pleasure of talking to Ben from the uh, Commercial Farmers Union here in Zimbabwe and he's uh, going to give us an overview of what they're currently doing, where are they, what, are, what is happening in Zimbabwe in the agricultural sector and we're going to talk especially about the land compensation in Zimbabwe and where it's at. So, uh, let's talk to Ben. Ben, good day. Thank you for speaking to us. How are you? Good afternoon to you, Tinas. It's nice to be here and uh, to uh, have a chance to interact. Okay. Yeah. Ben, we spoke earlier, but uh, quickly give us an overview of what you guys are currently doing as a CFU and uh, what you're keeping yourself busy with. There's a lot of things going on in the CFU. We have a small team, but we're pretty active and pretty busy trying to service a very broad range of uh, membership, which includes active farmers on the ground dealing with their issues, day-to-day -day issues, uh, labor issues, uh, electricity issues, fuel rebates, um, crop pricing and things like that. And on the other side, we're very actively involved in trying to bring resolution to the land compensation issue. Uh, that's taken an awful lot of time just in the last few weeks because of the interim relief payment that we're hoping will be process it's in process at the moment um, this has brought a lot of hope to some of our elderly people we really talk about the, the compensation uh, uh, where we at in the negotiations are they going to pay are they not going to pay do we know or are we still unsure about exactly what is what is happening so certainly with regard to the interim relief uh, there's 53 million RTGS unfortunately no longer denominated in US dollars um, but that is being processed. We had initially interest from 900 farmers. That's been cut down to about 750 now. Of those, 580, roughly speaking, have been processed uh, for payment. A few that largely relate to companies. They're looking for more paperwork. Those have been put into the government pay system. Uh, they've all got individual pay number IDs. And uh, we did hear in the last few days that uh, a few people have received payments. Unfortunately, with uh, the hiatus on PayNet and Zimbabwe not meeting its current commitments on PayNet, uh, there have been some hiccups with paying uh, and processing. But we understand that this will be overcome and that payments farmers will be receiving their payments soon. We're confident that they will get these payments, although it's taking longer than we would have liked. Okay, so in, in part of this whole discussion, the CFU have been part of this discussion from the start. You've guys been pretty busy and you're still actively involved with the government and all other parties in getting things resolved. There's basically three parties involved here. We have the, the Valuation Consortium, whose job it is to do values. Uh, they've been involved in collating the information and ensuring that claims that are put in are not uh, in excess of the value of those properties. So that, that they've been doing there. The Compensation Steering Committee, which is a group of farmer representatives, they're essentially the ones doing the inter, uh, direct uh, interaction with the government officials in the Ministry of Finance. And uh, together we give them a mandate on behalf of farmers to do that for us. We, we meet with them regularly and this exercise has been a coordinated one from all parties. Okay, and if farmers got any more questions, uh, the best and easiest way to contact you guys? Uh, well, one of the things is we're hoping that uh, our interaction with you guys at Farmbook will help uh, broaden the, the, the uh, access of, of farmers to our platform, which we're hoping to get up and running soon. Uh, we're hoping that that will also uh, be something that the active farmers find helpful a broad internet platform with an app that comes with it and we hope that by September this will be in farmers pockets making life easier for them. Okay, thank you very much for talking to us and I uh, hope to speak to you again soon and uh, good luck with all the hard work. Thanks a lot Dennis, have a good afternoon. Okay, cheers. Okay, there you have it, uh, Ben from the Commercial Farmers Union uh, talking about the current uh, state of affairs in uh, commercial farming and some of the land issues as well. Uh, make sure you stay tuned and we will bring you some more videos uh, during the next two days. Until next time.